just sitting here came in the west entrance of Glacier National Park and this is called McDonald Falls. A little overcast today. The sun kind of has been popping in and out but the temperature is it's two o'clock in the afternoon the temperature is 56 degrees. It's chilly out. is the dancing something falls which we'll find out what it is but yeah uh, we're gonna try to check out and see if we could take those horses tomorrow because it just looked incredible So we are about to embark on our first backcountry Glacier National Park hike. It's seven miles in, seven miles back to uh, a lake, seven miles into a lake. We've got our backpacks full of ice water. We've got our bear bell. We've got our bear spray. We have provisions for food, some power protein bars, and most importantly, we got this, our 45, and our cameras. So we should be good to go. Vicky's looking at me like this because she knows Guns and Greg don't mix, but like they say, I'd rather have it and not need it than get up there and need it and not have it. So there you go. Hey guys, so we're about halfway up. And we spotted this cool waterfall here. I'll take it around the corner where you can see a little more. Many Glacier Park on the east entrance and we are hiking today up to what's it called Vicky Joe? Ptarmigan Trail. Trail. There's a tunnel up there that you go through but it, it's supposed to be unbelievable views. It's uh, 6.7 miles in, 6.7 miles back. No? What was it? Oh, that was yesterday. Sorry. I asked my 5.4 miles. In. Yeah, it's like just under 12 miles round trip. Look behind me. That's just amazing. Yeah. They call this the little Switzerland of the park. Glacier National Park. We have not even gotten, I don't know, 300 yards <laughs> and already this is the view. Can't even describe it. Look up, yeah. Spectacular, beautiful, breathtaking, just does not do it justice. Really? 
really incredible. That's uh, snow over there, that's part of the glacier that they said will be gone within four years. These peaks, I'm sure they don't look like it on camera, but oh, they, they are so high. They just shoot straight up. There's a uh, lot of grizzly activity in this area of the park, so there's uh, some warning signs down below, extreme caution and uh, <clears throat> actually they had a picture of one gentleman that has been disappeared his cars in the parking lot with his dog and he's been missing for about a week so they fear the worst so here's one of the dilemmas about Glacier National Park we've been here six we'll be here six days total and we have not even scratched the surface of stuff to do. And to give you an example, like just now, we came to a, a Y in the road on this hike, and to the left it goes up to a beautiful mountain lake. Uh, and then we wanted to see that, but it's another two miles that way. And then we went to, we chose to go to the right because to the right, is a tunnel in the mountain, uh, a walk-through tunnel. And when you get through the other side, it opens up where we can see three glaciers and miles and miles of turquoise blue lakes. Uh, this look up behind me here, it's just unreal. We're really getting back up in here now. Well, we made it to the lake and uh, it was a pretty strenuous climb. And so now from here, the tunnel, if you can see behind me, I'm sure you won't be able to make out the people, but maybe you can spot the switchback that goes up and it kind of crosses over in that little V right there is the tunnel, which looks out over the other side of the Rockies towards the Canadian border. We're gonna stop here and have lunch Vicky packed a great little egg salad sandwiches and stuff for us, so we're going to take a well-deserved break and talk about that tunnel hike. <laughs> yeah, not we so much. We came this far, honey. <laughs> we gotta do it. They look like they're actually walking diagonally, and there's no brush on either side of that tiny path, so if you fall, you fall. But they said on the other side of that tunnel is red rocks turquoise what like nothing you've ever seen before so i'm gonna feed him and try to talk him into it <laughs> kind of decided not to do the tunnel. As you'll see coming up here, I got some still photos of the switchback going up. It's 0 0.9 miles up. You're completely exposed to the sun and weather. And we've already hiked four miles here. So we have now we have four miles back down. So that's an eight mile hike. And uh, we had Sophie at home too, that kind of concerned us. So, um, 
we're gonna head back down and save the tunnel for another day, another no time. And Vicky was willing to go. She was had her heart set on it, but I'm like, I'm not so sure. So anyway, uh, we're gonna head head back down there. Take us another about two and a half hours to get back down, but you know, even this is just spectacular. The view uh, through the tunnel, they say, once you get out the other side, is just like godly. So if you're watching this, YouTube the tunnel at Many Glacier Park, and I'm sure they'll have tons of YouTubes on there showing you the view from the other side. Check this out. So this is this, the falls coming down and then it drops just around this corner, probably maybe 100, 150 feet behind me. Water is absolutely crystal, crystal clear. I'll turn this around and kind of pan down into this little pool here below the bridge we're standing on. coming down out of the mountain. The first lake that we've come to is this snow-capped mountains behind us. And I uh, just wanted to give you a little quick picture of this. My son asked us if we had seen the colored rocks in any of the lakes or rivers. So this is for you, Eric.
another little creek running through the western side of the park where we're going to stop and have a couple cold beers and some cheesy crackers. Behind us is Lake McDonald at the west end of Glacier National Park. We put our kayak in at Apgar Visitor Center. And so behind us are the mountains and this is about, what time is it Vic? 10 to 6. 10 to 6 at night. The sun's still up. This water is 20 feet, 30 feet to the bottom. It's just like the Caribbean. And um, if you watched the video earlier when we were at that, um, shoot, Red Rocks yep. Falls, I think, where they were jumping off into the deep blue water, Whoa! that water temperature there, someone said, was like 36 degrees. This water here is chilly, but I can tell it's significantly warmer, so we might take a dip here in a little bit, but it's fitting. we're loving the kayak, right, Vicki? Today we're doing a relatively short hike, about two miles in, two miles back. And uh, there's this great little bridge down here that we're about to cross. Kind of a neat little vantage point up here. It's made from a fallen log running over the creek. Coming through. So today was the day we planned to hike and bike and bike and hike. So we thought we'd go for our shortest hike and my honey did some research and found a, what was supposed to be a 1.8 easy hike each way. So 3.6 miles total into the back country of Montana into a secret uh, pathway that most people have access to but they don't do and it's far away from the touristy National Glacier 756 miles of hikes so it was actually the most steep straight up difficult of all and it was thick brush so I am glad I listened to him and I wore long pants because it totally would have scratched me and I would have thought that there might be a rattlesnake or two down there so we have not packed a picnic lunch because it, this is definitely grizzly bear country back here. Instead, my honey is packed and loaded with the 45, the bear spray, my bear bell, and we came singing and a clapping kumbaya. And I don't know about you, honey, because he sings for a living, I will spare them of the version. <laughs> so after we crawled across fallen logs and through it all, this is our reward. Not a single car in the parking lot a mile away, except for ours. Not a single person on the hike and not a single person at our own private lake. So we got finished with our hike 
And now we are down into West Glacier where we've got our bikes out and we're doing some mountain biking around Lake McDonald. We love our Rad Minis. They really help a lot. So we are in Apgar Village at the west entrance of Glacier National Park. Kind of a cool little area. Some shops, uh, ice cream, groceries. Looks like you can get your firewood here. There's a restaurant. And got this guy. starting to slow down a little bit. I think we're getting to the tail end of the season. People are heading back to school, so not as many people as there was when we first got here last week. It's kind of a neat little town. I'm just sitting here 